Hey, people in the BC, it's Andy Cloudy Mulder. I'm going to do a competition response, contest response entry to uh, the Rock Scout. Um, hi, Scott. Um, it's his 50th uh, subscriber competition. Um, obviously, 50 subscribers. Uh, I think he's got them fairly quickly. So he's a fairly new member of the uh, the VC. Um, shows mainly a metal guy. Um, shows, um, records, CDs, all kinds of stuff that he's picked up. He's got uh, great taste, big Motley Crue fan as well. Um, so we asked six questions. Um, Going to jump straight into it because I've got a few videos I want to rattle off uh, this week. Um, so first up, you wanted to know, uh, and these are excellent questions, by the way. I've got really, um, found it quite tough to, to answer these. The first one was... Name a song you hate on an album you love. Um, this is quite difficult until I actually came across one. And I don't really hate the whole song on this album. Um, but um, anyway, so this is uh, Iron Maiden, The Final Frontier. Really like this album. Uh, great modern Maiden album. And in fact, there's uh, one of your questions about the longest songs. There's, there's about five or six songs on here over over eight minutes, but um, I'm not going to choose any of them for that question. But uh, the first track, uh, Satellite 15, not so much the song itself, but the first three or four minutes, the intro, um, just bores me to tears. And uh, I took a while to get into this album, and it wasn't until I skipped the intro uh, for Satellite 15 and then started listening to the album with just the, uh, the, the songs itself rather than the um rather whiny um atmospheric intro uh then i really started to appreciate that this album a lot more so question one i am made with final frontier satellite 15 a song i don't like on an album i love next up uh it was the reverse wasn't it so an album that i don't like but with a song i love i think i've got that so um I don't really have many albums that I don't like, um, and certainly some that I do, there aren't many songs maybe that I do like, but um, I've gone for Tigers of Pang Tang, The Wreckage, for this this question. Now, I may be being a bit harsh on this album, because I've only, I've only recently picked it up, and um, I've only given it a couple of spins, but it's pretty typical of where the Tigers of Pang Tang were in the mid 80s. It's very keyboard heavy. Uh, the drums, very synth sounding drums. But the title track, um, The Wreckage, is a really great song. It's a, it's a lot less keyboardy. Um, and it's just a really, really good number. So I really like that song on here. So um, if this was a 12 inch single and it just had the record on, I'd love it. Uh, but as an album, I'm struggling to really um, get into it, but um, I'll keep trying. Question three, favorite 90s debut. So we're gonna move away from, from metal. I wasn't listening to um, pretty much any metal in the 90s, um, but uh, a band that I've talked about quite a lot, uh, Manic Street Preachers, they started off around in the late 80s, but they didn't um, release an album until 1992. And this is Generation Terrorists, 18 tracks, um, very raw sounding, very different sounding than they, they, they do sound like at the moment, but um, I was delighted when this came out. Um, I'd love to have a copy of this on vinyl now, uh, an original, it goes for ridiculous money, 50, 60 pounds, um, so I really hope one day that they come around and do a good job and, uh, and reissue. Um, yeah, even though it's, what, 25 years, I wanted a reissue this year, but there we go. Yeah, so favourite 90s debut, I'll go for this one, Manic Street Preachers. Question four, favourite album closer. I've gone for another Iron Maiden. Um, many, many tunes I could have picked, but I've gone for the closing track to Iron Maiden, which is their self-titled song, Iron Maiden. Not only is it a killer and a classic Iron Maiden track, it's probably the song that they play. They must have played this every single time they play live. Absolute 
crowd pleaser. And what a way to start your record releasing career with a, uh, a song named after yourself that is going to basically be the album, the anthem that uh, that you carry on singing for the next sort of 35, 40 years. So there we go. That's my favourite album closer, or one of them. Um, next up, favourite song that's over eight minutes. Again, I couldn't choose many. I've decided not to go for anything um, Iron Maiden because that's become it's, it's sort of normal for them to do songs longer than eight minutes now. Um, I'll go for Master of Puppets, which is eight minutes thirty-eight. Uh, lots of debate over who's what. The best era of Metallica, which is the best album, is it this one, Justice for All, Ride the Lightning, Kill Em All, or what have you, but um, as probably overrated as this album, no, it's not overrated, is it? Can't be overrated, it's an absolute stone cold classic. Scratch that from the records. Um, I'm not ashamed to say that I love Master of Puppets, it was the uh, introduction for me for Metallica, and I just love the title track to the song. So there we go. Over eight minutes. Disposable Heroes isn't bad either. That's eight minutes fourteen. In fact, every track appears to be. There we go. And last question: Which band or artist do you own the most um, items of? So, if I take into account uh, LPs, CDs, twelve-inch singles, seven-inch singles, cassettes, uh, CD singles, any type of format, uh, apart from say stuff that I've just downloaded um, in the past it would be close between uh, The Wedding Present another non-metal band that um, is one of my favourites uh, Manic Street Preachers um, Iron Maiden uh, I own all basically just about all the Iron Maiden albums that there are and a lot of singles and, um, and LPs and, and CDs but probably the one that would come out the most because I have all of their albums and a load of bootlegs and all, all the CDs uh, is the remote. Um, I don't know exactly how many items that is. I think I've got 27 or 28 um, things on vinyl through the Ramones. Um, most of those are doubled up with CDs. Um, probably more CDs if I think about it. So probably getting into the, the 50s or 60 individual items from the Ramones. <clears throat> so there we go. Uh, great uh, questions Scott uh, great contest I'm sure you're gonna have many more uh, subscribers uh, joining your channel as a result of this competition uh, check you up to about 84 85 if you do not know Scott then uh, check out a link up there somewhere um, and enter his competition uh, hopefully you'll get uh, lots of entries and uh, hopefully I'll win so uh, thanks for running the competition Scott uh, good luck with your channel and I'll catch you again soon Cheers.